and welcome to Crime and Justice. In this video, we're looking at the school shooting in at Northwest High School in Omaha, Nebraska, where one 15-year-old was critically injured, and the one other lad, who they're not naming or giving an age, was taken into custody about half an hour later. Let's look at what they say. Teen boy critically injured in high school shooting. Teenage boy is critically injured after shooting erupted at a high school in Omaha, Nebraska. The shooting broke out at Omaha Northwest High School during lunchtime, shortly before 12.30pm on Tuesday. Cops from several agencies found the 15-year-old victim inside the school and is rushed to a nearby hospital. According to Omaha Police Department Chief Sherry Thomas, the suspect was arrested half an hour later, three blocks from the scene, by 80th Street and Bowman Avenue. It appears to be an isolated shooting between the suspect and the victim, Thomas said. The identities of the victim and sus suspect were not immediately released. Students began being released to the parents after 1pm and a reunification site was set up at the football stadium on campus. A dad, Devin DeMarked, said his son texted him that, his, that a shooting had occurred and that he was there from their home a few blocks away to find a large police present. As Father Instinct, I jumped in the car and headed up there, Demark told the Omaha World Herald. Shortly after 2pm, the Omaha Police Department stated on X, formerly Twitter, that the school is secure. An individual believed to be the suspect in the shooting has been taken into the custody. Police will remain in the area to follow up the investigation for un and for unification with parents. This happened on the 10th, the 9th, 2024. What is going on? Come on, there's got to be tighter restrictions over there. In the I'm so glad in the UK we don't have the right to carry guns. It's bad enough over here with knives attacks and knife killings and all this lot. But guns, oh my god. You know what I mean? Knives are scary. Scary as hell. And that's probably why we they use knives over here because they've got no law over here back well they have got a law. It's unlaw unlawful to carry a knife. Right? classed as a dangerous weapon but because it can be hidden so easily compared to rifles and guns right people the children children i say children because some are as young as 10 and 12 carrying knives right because they feel they're not they're not safe so they carry a knife how's that gonna help how's carrying a gun gonna help because you feel you're not safe no None of that helps. None of it. So, luckily, in one way, it was an isolated incident in the school between two lads. They don't know why yet. They haven't released that information. They haven't released the names of the child who was injured or the child that was arrested. Now, let's watch something on KETV News. Okay, well, I understand we're going to have a live interview in just a second. Again, Northwest High School, southeast of Sorensen Parkway, about 82nd and Crown Point Avenue, east of I-680 in the northwest side of the Omaha Metro, part of the Omaha Public Schools District. A 15-year-old was critically injured 12-15, 12-30 this afternoon in a shooting at that high school. That is the only injury that we know about. The suspect, a young person, is in custody, has been apprehended, and the school is secure. The lockdown has been lifted. The lock Lockdowns at Omaha Marion and Omaha Roncalli have also been lifted. Right now, Sean McKinnon 
our reporter is live uh, with what looks like a student. Sean, you, first of all, you've been on scene for, for a couple minutes now. What are you hearing? Once again, Omaha Northwest High School near 82nd and Crown Point Avenue. Uh, a shooting about an hour, hour, 15 minutes ago. A 15-year-old was critically injured. Really big law enforcement presence on scene. Uh, from what we can tell, most students still inside. But the lockdown has been lifted and students will slowly be released to their families. Suspect is in custody. Uh, okay, I'm hearing we do have Sean and the audio issues have been fixed. Sean, let's go back to you. What are you seeing? What are you hearing so far? Right. We were hearing uh, parents were terrified as they showed up, not knowing uh, what exactly happened, what exactly the situation was, but knowing that they wanted to come to school and get their kid from school. I'm here with Justin Aziama. Justin, tell me what you heard, what you saw today, what happened. All right. So I went, I'm, I'm coming from once. I went to the like, east side over there. So I saw, I hear, I, I hear people screaming. I see all whole people running. So I decided to run because I ain't trying to die. And second, um, yeah, I ran. I, I was like, I thought about going back to class. I said, nah. And then I, I was scared because this is my first time. I saw the, I saw the, uh, the last school shooting in like, what's Georgia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it in Georgia and I didn't want to be get hurt. I just, I just ran, went far as I could. Then I just left. How far do you, do you think you ran? How many minutes do you think you ran for? I went all the way down there, all the way down, down there. Like I ran, I was out of breath. I was like, it's my first time. I never experienced, experienced this in my life. I only heard about it. Did you ever think you would experience it? No, I mean, kind of. Because Northwest is like, you know, it's like dangerous. Little. But that's it. When you were running so fast, were you, were you panicked? What would you feel? I was like, I was shocked and like scared at the same time because I didn't know if the dude was like going to try to get everyone. So I said, nah, I'm good. And again, when it happened, you, you didn't hear any gunshots you just heard people screaming and starting to run, run. You, what, what were they saying they're like run some people i saw people jumping over people that's the first time i've ever seen that because i only see that because of fights and not gonna lie that's the first time i've ever seen that yeah. glad you're okay yeah. you can get reunified with any adults soon yeah my mom, mom my dad everyone my friends make sure they safe god god protect them amen yeah mm -hmm. Justin. Thank Glad you're okay, man. Yeah, thank I'll you, let you go. All right, thank you. Yep. Okay, you just heard it. Uh, he had to run from campus all the way down the hill, quarter of a mile, panicked. People apparently, students jumping over each other to rush away from campus. Uh, so that's what those students here experienced today. Again, lots and lots of parents, several hundred parents already here at Northwest High School uh, attempting to get reunified with their kids. So that should be happening soon. Bill. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, Sean, and, and we're told that reunification area, this has switched a few times, but we are told that is going to be at the football field. Students will be slowly released in small groups. I don't want to leave Sean right now. I do want to go back to him because he has been talking to uh, quite a few parents. Uh, one of the really tough things that I heard, I believe it was Justin say, you asked him if he, if he ever expected, uh, okay, it looks like Sean's going to go try to talk to some more parents. But one of the things that Justin said, Sean asked him if, if you ever expect like something like this would happen and and he said yes unfortunately that he did uh, again a 15 year old critically injured at omaha northwest high school but we can take the last shot of omaha police uh, they are standing by we're expected to get it to get an update here i mean really any second right now officer chris gordon he's a public information specialist with omaha police department looks like he's uh getting final information uh maybe getting some microphones on him right now uh, a 15 year old was critically injured today in a shooting about an hour, hour 15, hour and a half ago. As, as uh, that student said, keep in mind, if this is happening at 12, 15, 12, 30, this is during lunch hour at that high school. So hallways were packed, people were running, people were jumping over each other. Uh, our reporter, Jessica Perez, also on scene right now, uh, making sure the officer has uh, the microphones needed to give us that update. Uh, again, one suspect is in custody. We're told that suspect is a young person. It is not clear if that suspect suspect was male or female or, or if they were a student at this school. Um, uh, we do know that 
it looks like only one person was injured, but that 15 year old was critically injured. Uh, Sean McKinnon right now talking to another student at the high school. Um, can you hear us at all? Okay, Omaha Police giving an, uh, an update right now. Let's go live. All right, good afternoon. I'm Deputy Chief Sheree Thomas with the Omaha Police Department. Just want to provide a statement about what happened today here at Northwest High School. At 12, 23 hours, the school resource officer put out that there was a shooting at Northwest High School located here at 8204 Crown Point Avenue. There was a victim located inside the school. Shortly thereafter, there was a description of the suspect was put out over the radio of the suspect description. There were several metro area officers in the area. The suspect was taken into custody around 1258 p.m. in the area of 80th and Bowman. We believe this to be an isolated incident between two students. Surrounding schools were placed into lockdown and the lockdown was released after the suspect was taken into custody. The victim of the shooting was a 15 year old male. The victim was transported to a local hospital in critical condition. We will provide, this is an ongoing investigation, we'll provide more information later on this evening through our public information office. Thank you for your patience. If you guys did get any video of children being released, if you would not show that on the news tonight, that's the reason why the district wanted us to be down here. We are currently working to have all the students released and we're working with um, the Omaha Public School District to get the students released. There's parents here uh, waiting to pick up their children and we're working through that right now. I appreciate your patience. Can you say it was inside the school? Yes, it was inside the school. Okay. And you said the victim was 15 year old, 15 years old. The suspect, were they a similar age? I do not have the age of the suspect, but I, it is believed that he was a student here, so a student, teenage, teenager. And the victim also was student? Yes. Okay. You said that he's in critical condition. Um, what's the latest update? What's the last time you got that update? Right before I came down here to talk to you. Okay. So maybe about 10 minutes ago. Do you guys know why this happened? I do not have that information at this time. It's an ongoing investigation. We'll provide updates later to you all. And you believe that they knew each other? Is that safe to say? I can't say that. Are you able to say what hospital? I do not have that information. I don't want to give inaccurate information, but it was a local hospital. And because he was in critical condition, I imagine it's one of the trauma centers. How many uh, agencies were responding to this? The number of agencies, I know the Omaha Police Department, uh, Douglas County Sheriff's, there were other federal agencies in the area as well. But the number, I think, the exact number, I can't give you that. Is this a suspect that's not even involved? I don't have both that information. Um, the public information office can provide later details else for you all. I have a question. This is regards to the parents. So what do you guys have to check before giving the all clear to parents and understand the process of just clearing the building? Can you repeat that question? Yeah. So what do you guys have to check before giving the all clear to parents and students? So the, the school is being checked by officers. They're going room by room and then the students are going to be released. They're going to be released out to the football stadium and the parents or the bus will pick them up and take him home. Uh, we're getting reports that this started with a fight in the hallway. Is that accurate? I don't have that information at this time. How does OPD prepare for their scenarios? We have ongoing training throughout the years. We also have school resource officers that are in, in our high schools that are prepared for incidents like this. The school resource officer got on the radio and advised of the incident and officers responded to the area. Uh, as you can see, the suspect was taken into custody in, I believe, less than 30 minutes. There was some miscommunication for reunification areas. Helicopter was saying east, some officers were saying south, OPS put out something different. Why was there so much communication about where parents can go find their kids? So can you repeat that? Yeah, so there was some miscommunication for where parents can reunify with their kids. As officers saying to go to the south lot had um, some saying to go to the east lot, and then we also saw OPS um, alternative instructions. So just why was there so much communication on what parents should do? So it was a rapid evolving situation and we had to change plans. As you can see, there's several cars over here on this Crown Point Avenue. And so we had to change and ask that individuals come to the stadium. Just looking to, to not have Crown Point um, backed up. And then also we still have an active crime scene here. And so we don't want to interrupt that. So at this point, where can parents meet with their kids? At 
the stadium, the football stadium. And I heard them say that you an ID to pick up your kids. Is that accurate? I, I did not hear that. I'm, I would have to double check with OP uh, as to see what, what they're going to uh, be doing about that. But we have several parents up on the uh, field there, and we're just trying to work through that. Okay. Thank you all. I have another question. Do you know uh, the schools have remained closed for the rest of the I do not have that information. I work for the Omaha Police Department and not the Omaha Public School District, and we don't have anybody here to advise. I imagine that the school district will let the parents and the students know how they'll continue throughout this week. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, that's Deputy Chief Sharid Thomas with the Omaha Police Department giving us an update. Uh, the first call came out from a school resource officer about 12:23 at Omaha Northwest, a 15-year-old critically injured. Uh, that shooting did occur from what we understand inside the school. A uh, description was put out over the radio. Video and 35 minutes later, 1258 at 80th and Bauman, which is about half a mile to the east, northeast of the high school, a suspect was apprehended. They believe both the suspect and the victim uh, were students at Omaha Northwest High School. It's not clear on the relationship. Uh, the victim is a 15 year old male who was taken to a local hospital, likely a trauma center in critical condition, but the, uh, the exact hospital is not known at this time. Omaha police will have more information information later this evening. Uh, just into our newsroom, we do have video. I'm sorry, uh, Katie, what was that? All right, just, this is a live look at Omaha Northwest. Looks like students are slowly being released. Again, that reunification area uh, will be at the football field. So many parents, hundreds of parents and family members have flocked to Omaha Northwest, uh, just hoping that their children are safe. Um, we heard from, from a few parents that, you know, it's cliche, but this is this is worst nightmare scenario. Uh, just into our newsroom, we do do have video that can be disturbing, but it comes from inside Omaha Northwest High School in the moments after the sh shooting. Uh, you can see a person uh, walking over somebody. Uh, looks like, and this is the first time I'm seeing this video as well, they're walking down a stairwell, uh, going into uh, what looks like the hall area with lockers on the right side. Um, again, this is video from inside Omaha Northwest High School from, uh, Sorry, I can't see that name. Looks like nephew at Wallace Jr. Uh, this, this is it's just about an eight-second clip that's running on a loop. But uh, again, video from inside Omaha Northwest High School. Uh, hopefully can't see any faces of any students there. But uh, that video coming from this shooting that happened at about 12.23 in the afternoon. Uh, I do want to check with my producer, Katie. Katie, do we have any uh, reporters available to talk to right now? Okay. Jessica Perez, who you heard asking so many questions to law enforcement, Deputy Chief Sheree Thomas with Omaha Police. Uh, she is getting an interview right now. We will have so much more information for you today at 4, uh, 5, 6, 9, 10 here on KETV. Um, okay, we are going to go back out to Jessica. She's putting a microphone on. Um, we also talked with Sean Kinnon, who's live at the scene. He talked with a student, Justin, who said um, it was you know, pandemonium. It was panic in the hallway, uh, something that he... he uh, uh, sadly, thought someday he might experience, and that, that, that day was today. It did happen. A 15 year old shot and critically injured at Omaha Northwest High School. Uh, do we have Jessica ready? Not just yet. Okay. Um, again, 15 year old critically hurt, suspect is in custody, lockdown lifted. Uh, from that live video we looked at just a moment ago, it does look like students are slowly being released. Omaha police said that would happen, or uh, excuse me, Omaha Public Schools said that would happen been in small groups. Uh, we do have the details. Students who ride buses will be tra transported from campus first. Once that is finished, students who do not ride the bus each day will be released to families who are on site. I do apologize that beeping noise you hear is just updates coming uh, into our newsroom. And students who walk or drive themselves to school each day will then be released. Uh, the school district wants parents to know that this process will take time. We know families want nothing more than to be with their student right now. We care so deeply about our students, staff, and families, and we appreciate your patience throughout this afternoon. Okay, uh, Sean McKinnon is live. Uh, looks like he's talking with a parent right now. Uh, let's go to Sean McKinnon. Okay, and your student, what grade are you there? Um, hey guys, okay, so I'm with Karma, 10th grade, you said, right? Yes. Okay, so Karma is in 10th grade, she was in school today. Karma, tell me what you heard, what you saw. I was um, in the cafeteria it was third lunch and all of a sudden i saw a bunch of kids running through the hallways 
and I was wondering what was going on. And they said it was shooting, but we didn't hear anything. So um, after that happened, they told us to like go hard. And like everyone was scared, people were crying, people were comforting other people. And yeah. Did you go run and hide in a classroom? Where did you go? We were inside the like room that the lunch people serve. Okay, so the cafeteria? Yeah. Okay. In that area. Did you hide below a table or something? Where'd you go? No, we were just standing in that room with the door closed. How, how did you feel during that time? I was scared, but at the same time I was ready to go home because like, I know that nothing would have happened because they were there to protect us. And tell me about that video that you saw. It was a video of um, a, 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 yeah, a person giving the person who was shot down chest impressions, but I didn't see the per person who was on the floor. Sorry this happened. How do you feel right now, now that you're outside the building and it's, it's all over? I'm happy to be alive, and that could have went real worse than it already had. Did you think you could have died? Yeah, I was rethinking my whole life, you know. Why is that? Uh, certain life choices, you know, but. So you were grappling with your own life in that moment? Yes. A uh, very fearful uh, moment, but. A high schooler shouldn't have to deal with that. Exactly. You know, scary moment, but I'm glad it's over now. We'll let you go. Thank you, Karma. But you guys heard about that scary moment Karma just described to us stuck in the cafeteria they locked the doors so she was protected there but she heard people screaming she didn't hear the gunshots but she seems says she's seen a video of a victim potentially um and then even started thinking about her own life life decisions that she's made and hoping that she didn't die today luckily karma's still with us uh and, and she's okay but it's just a really horrible moment that uh unplayed here today unfolded here today, I should say. Bill, I'll send it back to you. Sean, thank you. I mean, I mean, four words that a 10th grader should never have to say in a situation like this, happy to be alive. Um, okay, Sean McKinnon reporting live again. What we know is a 15-year-old critically injured, uh, a 15-year-old male, a student, the suspect, also a student in custody. I believe we also have Jessica Perez live right now. I've seen Jessica talking with, with several people. Uh, Jessica, you were asking so many questions at that press conference. Uh, let's go back over some of those details. What did you learn just a few moments ago? Yeah, Deputy Chief Sherry Thompson did confirm that the shooting happened inside the school. She said that it was two students in a disagreement between them. They believed to be an isolated incident. The suspect was arrested just three blocks northeast of school property over at 80th and Bauman Avenue. Now they're working to reconnect students with their families down at the football field. Back to you. Jessica, have you been primarily talking with students or parents uh, before that police press conference? Talked with some students who had family members inside the school on the way up to the hill here at uh, the school, and then mostly talking with law enforcement. What have, the, what have those people been telling you? Not law enforcement, but the, the, the people that are outside. What have they been telling you. Yeah, I talked with one girl whose sister was inside the school and she was saying that she communicated with her sister over text and she knew that she was doing okay, so she wasn't super worried, but did want to know more details about what happened. Again, we now know the shooting did happen inside the school, so that must have been a scary experience. Uh, incredibly scary to say the least. Jessica Perez, live at Omaha Northwest High School. Jessica, thank you so much. Uh, just to reset the bullets, uh, the bullet point. Thanks really quick before we let, uh, let you go and return to regular programming. Uh, a shooting, Omaha Northwest High School, 1223, a 15-year-old male victim, critically injured, taken to a local trauma center. Another student, a suspect, also arrested, taken into custody just three blocks away around uh, between 79th and 81st in Bowman. Uh, a lot of law enforcement were already nearby the school, um, so it only took about 30 to 35 minutes before that suspect was apprehended. Uh, lockdowns at Omaha Public Schools have been lifted. The lockdown in Omaha Roncalli Catholic, the lockdown in Omaha Marion also lifted. Uh, students are currently being systematically released in small groups. They are meeting 
at the stadium with parents. That is where the reunification process will happen. Uh, no Notes from Omaha Public Schools, students who ride buses will be transported from campus first. After that, students who do not ride the bus will be released to families. Students who walk or drive themselves to school will then be released. This process will take time. The district is asking for your patience. Uh, once again, a 15-year-old critically injured in a shooting at Omaha Northwest High School. Well, the situation is secure. The suspect has been taken into custody. Stay, stay with KETV News Watch 7 on air and online for the very latest. So like I said, this happened yesterday, the 10th of September. It was, it looks like it was a disagreement or something like that between two boys, both students in the school. But one is in critical condition. Um, I will update if I get, if I find any more updates on this, I will be updating. So please, until then, until next time, stay safe.